I just completed the text of my presentation for Margie's Travel, and now I'm ready to give my presentation a sharper appearance by adding a more colorful look to the slides. I can change from the default Office theme to the Flow theme by clicking the More button in the Themes group and then clicking the Flow thumbnail to make my slides look better. The Flow theme, which supplies a whole different look, changes the fonts, slide colors, and layout. It's good, but I think I'll jazz it up even more by adding a background to my slides. You might not know this, but all presentations have a background. The default background is often white, making it appear as if there isn't a background. To change the background, I go to the Background Styles Gallery to see the choices there. Background styles are determined by the presentation's theme, so as the theme changes, so does the background style choices. Notice that when I place my pointer over any thumbnail, I get a live preview of how that background will look before I apply it to my slide. If I wanted to apply the background to all the slides, I could just click the thumbnail. But since I want the aqua background only for the slide I've selected, I right-click the thumbnail and then click Apply to Selected Slides. I know that when my boss delivers the presentation, she will spend a lot of time talking about the important information on the third slide, so I really want to make the background eye-catching. I'll add a background texture to give it some eye appeal. At the bottom of the Background Styles gallery, I click Format Background. On the Fill pane, I click Picture or Texture Fill, and then click Texture. Water Droplets is nice, so I'll click it. PowerPoint applies the texture only to the selected slides. To apply texture to all the slides in my presentation, I would click the Apply to All button after I click the texture that I want. But I won't do that now. My presentation is starting to look much better. On my first slide, I want to use a picture background that gets clients thinking about exotic vacations right when they walk into the room. I right-click the slide and use this shortcut menu to return to the Format Background dialog box. This time, I'll use a picture as the background, so after I click Picture or Texture Fill, I click Clip Art. Since my company specializes in tropical vacations, I type Beach into the Search text box. I want to search for pictures on Office Online, so I select the Include Content from Office Online checkbox. To start the search, I click Go. I see the clip I want, so I click it, and then click OK. Now that I've added the chairs, I'll go to the Picture pane, where I can adjust how the picture looks so it won't compete with my text. When I click Recolor, I see a gallery where I can apply a stylized effect, such as grayscale, sepia, or washout to a picture. Under Color Modes, I click Washout. Notice how the brightness and contrast sliders automatically adjust to the color mode thumbnail that I select. I can manually slide these if I want. Oops, that's a little too faded for me. I think I want to go back to the original color. I click Recolor, and then under Color Modes, click No Recolor. Sometimes when I'm adjusting a picture, I get a little carried away making color corrections. When I do that, I can click the Reset Picture button to restore the picture. I can also click the Reset Background button to remove any background changes from the selected slides that I've made and start over. But I'm happy with the backgrounds, so I'll leave them as they are. Wow! Adding a background like a picture, color, or texture really makes my presentation stand out. And all my choices look good with the flow theme that I applied first. It's nice to know that I don't have to be a professional designer to create a great-looking presentation for my audience.